Hey, Alice, how are you doing? Hi, I'm Sam, thank you. You? I'm fine, thank you. After two days that I had fever for some weird reason, but oh. I'm fine now. That's that's good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. So thank you to to be my guest, first of all. Thank you. So um, you are young and uh, you are just uh, rising with your band, uh, The Shameless. Would you like to tell something about your band? Uh, uh, who you are, from where you are, and uh, what what kind of uh, metal you play? Yes, uh, uh, so I can start with uh, myself. <laughs> I'm uh, Alice. I'm from uh, the I'm from North Italy, from Monfalcone, and uh, I sing uh, in my band in the Shameless uh, since uh, two thousand nineteen. Uh, the band uh, um, had been uh, created in 2019, but uh, I entered um, after it was created uh, because uh, at the beginning there, there were George and Matteo and um, another bass player, not David, that uh, uh, is uh, the, the bass player now. Uh, I entered in September 2019. Uh, thanks to my singing teacher, uh, because she told me there was a band uh, searching for a singer, and so I joined the band. At the beginning, I weren't, uh, eh, no, I wasn't, sorry. Um, I wasn't um, so convinced, because I didn't uh, listen to rock, metal, prog, uh, and so on. But then I, how can I say, I discovered a new world, uh, a new music genre, and uh, I have to say that I like it very much. And uh, with time, uh, I started uh, practicing uh, and uh, singing also this, uh, this genre. We, we do prog metal in the style of uh, Dream Theater, Tool, uh, etc. Uh, we are, the band is composed by four people, me, that I'm the singer, um, and sometimes I also play the acoustic guitar in our songs. Then there is uh, Georgia, that is a guitarist, guitarist play, guitar player, and then David, the, who's the bass player, and Matteo, who's the drummer. Um, I um, we we make uh, songs. Uh, we compose songs, and we are working on our first album, uh, and we hope to publish it. Uh, I think uh, at the end of this year, we hope. <laughs> uh, yes, we are working on it. Uh, a lot um, and I'm happy to to bring uh, people uh, our music um, we yeah. can say um, yes uh, we also may do make uh, play covers uh, um, in our concerts and so we play covers and our songs uh, we make um how can I say, uh, not a remix, uh, um, I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, I, I have the word, I have the word here, yeah. what you mean, <laughs> but what, what's the word? What's the, um, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's 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 the word that is missing. I think that the people who are watching the video is able to understand if you say you are you are making um, a mix of yes, a mix of covers or and our songs. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yes. A combination. Uh, we... Was it a combination? combination. Yes. Yes. A combination. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> um. Yes, in our 
the next our next concerts uh, will be on the 13th uh, of uh, October uh, at Dardi um, that's in Cervignano and then the 21st of October um, it's a Saturday we are in um, at the at the Revolution Life Club uh, near to Marostica Vicenza with other free bands uh, Stranger Visions, uh, Dark Ages, uh, and uh, Simone Clementi. Um, I'm very happy to go outside of our region, <laughs> we can say, because um, here the um, not all the people um, appreciate what we do. They don't understand because it's, um, it's a genre that here people don't listen uh, a lot yeah and uh, and so in veneto uh, it is more um, eradicated i yeah. say uh, yes but i hope uh, next year we will go abroad maybe let's hope uh, yes Maybe uh, you could start from Slovenia because it's the yes, closest yes. one, so we're if you get a chance Slovenia. there, yes. or we're also sure. in yes. Austria, it can be um, so easy. Yes, also Germany. Yeah. Yes, it uh, it could be, and uh, yes, to to search for concerts, uh, we have an association, Rock Out. Uh, um, you know Max uh, yeah. and Mauro, I think. <laughs> and they help us uh, finding concerts uh, and uh, also with um, events uh, and so on. And they also sell our um, our T-shirts. Uh, and when we will have uh, our album, they will sell it too. And... Yes, I I can say that I'm very happy to be in this band because uh, we work well together. We are all friends, uh, and uh, yes, uh, yeah, I'm, ve I'm very happy. That's nice. And uh, talking about uh, uh, your music, you released your first single la last May, Perspectives. Yes. Uh, what yes, can you yes. tell about uh, this song? This song uh, talks about uh, um, the the past that uh, always uh, um, that is uh, in our present because the past uh, made uh, the present, and uh, it talks about uh, uh, decisions that uh, you made uh, uh, in your past uh, that made, uh, of course, your present. In the in the lyrics, there is a um, a girl or a boy, someone who is in front of a forest, and uh, feel uh, feels it, he, he or she feels lost, and uh, doesn't know where to go, um, what decision he should take. Uh, but then uh, he. He hears uh, some uh, voices, uh, some music, uh, and uh, he feels uh, more safe, safer. He feels safer, uh, but still don't know what to do or where to go. And um, it's, uh, I think uh, the lyrics aren't so easy to understand because you have to enter into them uh, and to properly understand uh, what uh, we, we want to say uh, but it's uh, yes it's like that something like that yeah and something about the uh, the song and about your vocals um i i don't know why maybe it's just me that i hear this but i feel some some similarities uh, with the way of seeing of uh, Cristina Scabbia. I, d I don't know, maybe you are not influenced yes. at all by her uh, kind no. of singing, I but there, there, was some, there was something in, uh, in the song that uh, reminded me. 
Yeah, I don't <laughs> listen a lot. I don't listen a lot to Christina Scabia, but uh, yeah, it could be that I have uh, something uh, in common with her. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but uh, I really like the song and I think you did an amazing job. Uh, and uh, I really like uh, the the instrumental. At, at what point there was there was that break with the solo? It's a three uh, minutes and something. After the second, um, oh, uh, I don't remember. Uh, Ritornello, non mi ricordo come si dice. <laughs> Um, after the second um, core. Yes. 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 Yeah. So it's a, it's it's a really good song. So I suggest everybody that is watching this interview to go and check uh, your song. Thank you. And then let's wait for your album because I'm curious now yeah. to to hear what what you are going to give us. <laughs> But uh, I hope you like it. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be good. But yeah, let's let's see. Let's wait. Um <laughs> and about the uh, live music, how many live gigs uh, did you play so far? How many was so? How many concerts did you play so oh, far? How many? Oh, I don't know. It's four years that we play together. I don't I really can't count them i don't remember uh mm, let's say 2020 we didn't play a lot because uh, there was covid and so on so i think uh, free 2021 the same almost uh but we started playing uh, a lot uh, last uh, last summer the summer we studied uh, uh, playing uh, in Prosecco. I don't know if you know, there's the um, Culturni Dom. Yeah. It's near near here. And uh, yes, after that, we started playing uh, a lot. But I don't remember the number of <laughs> concerts. Yeah. There are we many, at least to... this summer, there were a lot. Uh spring summer time yes 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 also this summer uh we also went to verona this uh in this may uh at the isola rock yeah and it was uh, very nice uh, we opened uh, the um, the festival let's say uh on saturday because there were three days of uh, of this festival and then we we met a lot of new people uh, we talk to other people we listen to other uh other bands uh, and it was very very nice I... do you remember what bands were uh, the saturday that you played uh? i remember uh helen the club i don't know if you know yeah them. yeah uh then there were uh sick and beautiful okay i think and uh, the others I don't remember, and uh, the last band um, um I don't remember the name, but they are famous. But I don't remember the name. Uh, let let me check one moment. Yeah. I don't remember. Ah, trick or treat. Okay. Yes, trick or treat. It was the the less band. Yeah, yeah. I tried to contact the singer, but um, because I have him as friend uh, in Facebook, mm. I have seen trick or treat a few times live. <laughs> Last time that I saw them live was I think uh, eleven years ago. At least. Oh. so it's 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 a while <laughs> um and uh yeah and i try but he didn't answer so i don't know should i contact through manager <laughs> it's uh, only a question mark i have some 
some artists, I have a lot of artists uh, in uh, in my contact of Facebook and uh, I send the last week I think that I want to just put my calendar ready for the for until uh, the end of December and uh, I have the paper here with all my interviews that that are coming and uh, let's say that uh, there were few that us were like immediately <laughs> and uh Students. And they, they are on tour in this moment uh, in ah, okay. the first day, yeah. so they, they were answering like, uh, ah, okay. <laughs> wow, wow, <laughs> like you had time to answer to me, I was not expecting that, uh, yeah, and then yeah. there were other that they are, I don't know if they are, were, if they are touring or not, but like they Notes. saw the message <laughs> and uh, they didn't they answer. answer. A bit ghosting, but it's fine. I think that maybe they are thinking or they then for, they just take they, and they, they forgot. Yes. But let's, let's see if I get some some. I, I have I have some good. Uh, t- not today because this this is going to be next, the the week after the the interview. It's going to okay. So, but uh, there there are some interesting name comings. uh, But yeah, Uh, let's talk uh, about uh, you as a singer. Like, uh, when did you start to sing? Uh, I started singing when I was uh, a child. When I was seven years old, I joined a choir. here in Monfalcone and then uh, I sang in that choir for I don't know seven or eight years when I was 16 I left for um, um, because there for problems uh, of um, I don't know of um, of the hours uh, of the days of uh, the yeah, for we have your, the, the, the the schedule. Yeah, uh, yes, of timetable. So. Uh, and so I didn't have time anymore. But then um, there was uh, my my uh, singing teacher uh, told me there was this band, uh, and so I joined uh, the Shameless. Uh, it was all a surprise, but uh, I was happy, and. I started uh, taking uh, singing lessons instead uh, in, uh, I think, 2020. Uh, but of course, I had to do it to do them uh, online because of the COVID. Yeah. Um, uh, yes, now I'm uh, I'm studying uh, music uh, and singing, and in these years, uh, uh, from when I joined the band. Uh, I I also I'm also practicing uh, uh, on uh, prog metal uh, and so on in order to make uh, better to sing better our songs. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, about the name of the band. Yes. Um, do you have? Shame. Yeah. Do you have any idea how it was chosen? Because you. I entered up and the after yes. so do, do you know how what's the origin of the name um they told me that um it means that shameless um uh, uh, without uh, without shame and so that we i don't know i don't know how to explain uh, properly we can uh, do what we want uh, without shame uh, and without uh, having a, a mask on we are yeah. be the your other from, we are uh, uh, as you see us yeah i don't know yeah. it makes sense yeah okay so let's go to to the topic of metal music so i for, for what you said you didn't listen to metal before. 
Have no, you ever it's... heard of metal music before joining the band? Yes, yes, but my father um, like metal, uh, rock, uh, okay. and so on a lot. But uh, I, when I was uh, younger, I, <laughs> I completely refused to to listen to it. <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, I only listen to pop uh, or music things like that. Um, but then something changed in my mind and I don't know, I don't know why. I I joined the band uh, and so they, the other, my, my friends that are in the band uh, make, made me listen to a lot of uh, artists, uh, singers, bands, uh, metal uh, that make, that play metal and uh, prog. And so I started uh, enjoying this music. And I like it uh, a lot. One so what, what were the, the, the first bands that you listened to, that your bandmates make you uh, listen to? I think, um, oh my God, um, at the beginning, beginning, I think, I think Dream Theater, Matteo mm -hmm. made me listen to it, to them. How uh, was your reaction to Dream Theater? They are they are amazing. We went uh, we also went to see them uh, in a concert in May. Me and Matteo and uh, Matteo and I. Uh, the concert was uh, amazing. I had goosebumps uh, all the time. I was speechless. They played uh, very 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 well. And uh, yes, I think it's one of my favorite bands. Uh, talking about prog metal, but I also like uh, Avengers Sevenfold as my t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd love to to listen to them because I have never did before. Um, yes, but I think the the first band that I listen, I don't know if the um, it was uh, doing theater because. Mm, I don't think, but uh, it was the, the first band that impressed me a lot. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. And I, I was thinking that uh, I start to listen to metal uh, quite late. I think I was 19 um, mm. because my friend introduced to metal. Uh, but yeah, it was nowadays maybe it's more easy to get to know other music. Through, yes. through social media yeah, but uh, media. but the back in time I, I actually when I was like I think 14 I was like listening and watching uh, the all those music ch channel uh, and I was watching the music videos and I, I didn't know the difference in the genres I was just yeah, yeah. liking liking certain songs uh, Another, uh, so I was like not uh, knowing what what's going on, uh, but I re I was listening actually to new metal. <laughs> so and then there was always yeah I knew always like Iron Maiden, but I didn't know that is uh, uh, ah, okay, metal. Is so metal. it's like uh, it's it's interesting. Then when you get to know people that are into a certain genre you get yeah. introduced and then you you start to to feel that music you find your music somehow so it's really yes, interesting yes. so uh when was your first metal concert the, the first one that you went to see mm, the first one that i went to see I don't know. I don't. I don't remember. Mm, maybe. Mm, maybe Fuzzy di Rock two thousand in two thousand and twenty one that we played there, and so I listened to other bands. Maybe I think, but but maybe there were some concerts before, but I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah. And what's 
your favorite metal album? My favorite metal album? If you have one. <laughs> I don't know. I like a lot uh, um, an album from Dream Theater of the Dream Theater, Metropolis Part Two, Six yeah. from a Memory. Yes, I think it it's the it's my favorite. But yes, I like others too. Yeah, yeah. And uh, about uh, singing, um, if you think about singers. Uh, in general, not just in metal, uh, which one is the singer that most influenced you? Mm. <laughs> that influenced me. I don't. I don't know. But when I was uh, younger, I listened a lot to Ariana Grande. Uh, also to Christina Aguilera and uh, Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston. Um, so big but, voices. Uh, they, yes, but they, I, I don't have uh, the voice they they had, <laughs> they have, but uh, I like them very much, and even if it's not metal, I, I appreciate them a lot. Yeah, they, they, have, they, they have big voices, great technique, so yeah. yeah. They are great. But uh, for um, talking about metal, I I don't know. I don't have um, a singer that influenced me the most. Yeah. There is any kind of uh, metal that you don't like or you don't feel like for you? Not as singer, but uh, as listener. Uh, a uh, kind of metal. Uh... Yeah. If if we think that metal mm -hmm. is uh, so many sub genres, uh, there is. I think uh, trash metal. Uh, I don't like it a lot. Okay. Yes, I don't listen to to it. Yeah. If someone asked me about that, this question, I probably would not be able to really answer. <laughs> because at the beginning, I was listening uh, pretty much just uh, power, progressive and folk. But then mm -hmm. I got into, into trash death and the song. And now I'm listening uh, everything that I feel uh, good for my for my hair. So everything is yeah. fine. <laughs> so I I I, I could not answer something like this. Something else outside of metal. Yeah, I know what I don't like, but uh, in yes. in metal, yes. uh, it's quite uh, tricky. I you don't know how to answer. <laughs> yeah. But I think you just start to listen to metal. So maybe in 10 years, yeah, your true. answer will be different. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I have uh, a lot of artists to to discover. Yeah. And yeah. a lot of them. And there is so, so many out, outside this world. So it's it's really yeah. hard to to get to listen to everything that, that, yeah. that is around. Yeah. But let's go to the question that uh, I got for you from your fans. So, well, mm -hmm. there is a Massimo Barzellato that asked, uh, he, he, he wrote, please, please ask her, when could we expect the de debut album that you asked were before? So, yeah. hopefully. Yes, I think at the end of this year. Yeah. yeah I hope. <laughs> and then he asked, uh, in which place, city, you perform more gigs and why? Uh, in uh, <laughs> Prosecco. <laughs> because uh, Max uh, is a uh, part of the association Rockout, and so they invite us to a lot of events, uh, and uh, it's like home for us. Yeah. And then there, there was uh, the less serious question <laughs> uh, do you want me to re to to 
read uh, all the comment or just uh, keep uh, the just one question oh is from from david eh? david david it's for you <laughs> my so, my answer to your question so, no, i don't know if you want to <laughs> it's different he, for me so for uh, who is uh, watching this interview of david eh, is uh, a friend of the band so he he made this like a joke. Yes. <laughs> so the, 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 the what what he wrote as a as a joke is ask her how to properly hold the mi microphone and how to clean it too. Can I use the dishwasher? <laughs> the dishwasher is always the best thing you can do with a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> but I I have no what idea how how you clean a, a microphone. I never thought about that. So. If How you do want, you? Uh, I know I have a microphone here. <laughs> I know little, but uh, that David taught me this, and so I, I'm going to show you. <laughs> yeah, this is a microphone. You have to uh, open it, and uh, yes, uh, it's a mic. And uh, inside you can find a sponge. Uh, here you have to pull it out. I am not able to pull it out, but there is a, a sponge oh. inside. Uh, you can wash it and uh, let it dry, uh, and then when it's uh, when it's dry, you can put it into again. And this part, the grid, you can uh, I don't remember, but I think uh, you can clean it with um. I don't know <laughs> with uh, some brushes. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Davide, Is David to... going to be happy with your hands work? Uh, <laughs> I don't what know. What kind of grade are you gay? Uh, are you going to receive from me in, after he teach you how to clean <laughs> the microphone? <laughs> he, he taught me, but I I didn't do it. Uh, I never do it. Did, did it. Sorry, and so I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, what what microphone do you use? I use a, a Shure SM fifty eight. Okay. It's a dynamic microphone, um, uh, and uh, it's perfect for live performances. Yeah. Okay. Nice. But now let's go to my jar of random question. So mm -hmm. let's see what we get as first. Uh, da, 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 da. Is again we got series. Uh, so do you like to watch a series uh, like net on Netflix or uh, on TV or whatever? <laughs> yes, my my favorite series series uh, is uh, Gossip Girl. I finished okay. it uh, uh, a week ago, I think. <laughs> And it's my favorite. Uh, and now I'm uh, watching uh, uh, Sabrina Vita da Strega, Life of a Witch. I don't know. How yeah, it's, it's in... like the we which Sabrina are you watching? Are you yeah, watching the new one? The new one, the Netflix one. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. The, the, the darker. Yeah. Yes. Darker. Not not the comedy version of the nineties. No, no, no. The darker. Uh yes, it's nice. I think, but uh, mm, I prefer uh movies to series. Okay. If it's a um a series that uh I like I love a lot, I watch it. But uh, yes, I prefer movies. So you are a movie girl. Uh, what's your fav favorite movie genres? Uh, romantic. Or adventure. Okay. I think. Yes. And what's the best movie? Oh, I don't know. Uh, or your favorite movie? I. Mm, I love. I also love uh, the um, Christmas movies. Christmas movies are oh, the best yeah. for me because I love Christmas, <laughs> and I think. Uh, um, Come, come si chiama? Eh, Mamma o perso l'aereo? Eh, um, 
Home alone. Home alone, home alone, yes. Yeah, yeah, I think that it's a Perfect. classic that ever, everyone yes. loves, I suppose. it's Every something. year I watch it uh, and uh, I know it's uh, all. But it's always nice to watch it, so. Yes, yes. It's one of those movies that you you just keep watching all the time. <laughs> yes, of course. Yes. So let's get another topic. Let's see what we are going to get social media i there are some topics that they are never going to be picked they are all, always the same more or less i get so how do you feel about social media mm, i use them but not a lot i have uh, facebook instagram tiktok uh, all this <laughs> um but uh, Yes, I use it uh, almost to promote uh, the band or concert that I'm going to to have uh, places that where I'm going to sing uh, and um, to share some photos with my friends or myself. Uh, yeah. But I don't use them uh, a lot. Okay. And you are not. You are seeing... not really a social media person then. Even if no. you are, what, what? How old are you? Twenty. Twenty. So you you are uh, young in the generation that grew up with uh, social media, pretty much. And yes, yes, yes. But the first social media that I had was Instagram, and uh, I think that I subscribed when I was uh, sixteen, seventeen. So not uh, when not I was young. Young. Yeah. Mm, yes. How do I use them also? I use them also to um, uh to know when concerts will be of other ba bands uh, or uh, albums, uh, songs, yeah. uh, and so on. It's useful, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's true. About promotion of your own band or other things, uh, and yeah. uh, following where what a band is is doing so is a new album coming uh are they going to to to, uh, to a tour and so on it's 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 really good but yeah the, there is the the pro and cons of the social media yeah, yeah. As, uh, so it's 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 very important to know how to use them uh, mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. to not uh, not to it, abuse not to abuse yeah, well yeah, because it can get your life, suck your life <laughs> in a certain way. Yeah. And then someone is all the time yeah. like this. And I yeah. I know that I spend too much time on my phone when, mm -hmm. when I have free time. Like now I was sick, so the, the thing that I was doing, okay, I watch a series on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah after that that was finished then i was with my phone watching a random video on facebook for some weird reason facebook wants me to watch uh, dance mom uh, videos so i watched <laughs> those dance mom videos and i was like thinking what the hell but i what keep I watching doing? yeah i for some reason i was keep watching those videos and thinking I mean, you had nothing to do and so with, yeah what's wrong with people <laughs> but yeah what's wrong with me i should have asked <laughs> but yeah pretty pretty much social media is good and bad at the same time <laughs> yes but let's get to the most important part of this interview that it's the pizza do you like pizza yes a lot a lot uh what's your favorite pizza my favorite pizza is uh, Snow White, Biancaneve. And uh, it's a white pizza with nuts, mozzarella cheese, I don't know how to say it. Yeah. And uh, ricotta. Okay, it sounds good. Yeah. I personally um, like margarita, uh, yeah. with, uh, olives, and stracchino cheese. But if there is not stracchino, then I ask for uh, ricotta. Because yes, it, yes, very good. Yeah, the 
they are just good. <laughs> they are just just so good. But yeah. um, then there is the question that uh, mm -hmm. the, the the world is div divided into pineapple on pizza, yes, and pineapple on pizza, no. So what's your your uh, so yeah. I I tried it uh, and uh, I have to say that I liked it. Some more that most of my friends uh, tells me, ah, what the hell, man? No, you are Italian. How can how can you say it? <laughs> but I like. It. I like it. So <laughs> you are say? for the yes, yes. And uh, I have to say, you are the first Italian that said yes to this question in the metal pizza so i think it's going to be interesting i want to to hear the people what you have to say about, in the comments about an italian saying this but don't be scared no one is going to 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 send you message where i'm going to kill you no no it's not like this <laughs> Oh, well, I don't know about Italian sometimes, you know, <laughs> someone can be a bit too, too, yes. too aggressive when it's about food. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> but yeah, well, we have done with this interview. Thank you so much for your time. It was a pleasure to talk with you and uh, let's do it again uh, in the future. Uh, yes, yes, of course. I hope for okay. you everything uh, great thank so, you thank and uh, i'm waiting for the album would you like to say yeah. something to people that are uh, watching this episode of metal pizza oops sorry <laughs> <laughs> um yes uh, i don't know if you want to follow us on uh, on instagram uh, we our account is the shameless official and also in uh, on facebook and tiktok and i'd love to thank you to invite me this uh, metal pizza and uh, it was a pleasure to talk uh, with you and what can i say more i hope you enjoyed all the people that are watching this video <laughs> And see you soon. Thank you.